very efficient, aren't we? Four times a year, that's all we do this? All right. Hey, fellow babies, get used to this yellow shirt. You got it for all summer. From at Ultimate Brent. Do you think the Gaikai Tech will make it into the PS4 at launch, or will that be a later edition or at all? Um, good question. Uh, Gaikai is not hardware. So, you know, the technology getting into the PS4 is a software fix. Um, right now, the way Gaikai works, it's essentially internet based. I mean, it's a cloud based solution. And so I think you can put it into the PS4 whenever. Sony gets around to doing so. Uh, my guess is yes, it'll be in the PS4 at launch. If not, it'll be in one of the early updates. Now, one of one of my biggest complaints about Sony uh, and the PS3 is that I've lost track of how many software patches, software updates I've had. I think I've worn about 60. Um, it's just crazy. It's like I don't even want to turn the damn thing on anymore because every time I touch my PS3, it's a new software patch. And Sony obviously blew it with the PS3 and they couldn't figure out that maybe you could background download that. You know, so it freezes everything. You can't watch a movie, you can't play a game. You just have to wait for the damn thing to update. That's what I hope they fix. Um, I, I have a feeling Sony knows they made a mistake with that. We'll get background software updates. And my guess is Gaikai's there at launch and if not, it'll be there three months after launch. And it'll happen overnight. You won't even know that the patch happened. Uh, they'll roll it out when they're ready to promote it. Good question. At Mutt Vegas 777 actually sounds like a very lucky Twitter moniker. Do you think Microsoft's Surface tablets stand a chance with competing with Apple and Android? Well, that's a great question. I think it fits uh, asking me if the Wii U is going to succeed as well. Tell me what the Surface is going to cost and I'll tell you how it's going to do. So if it's a thousand bucks, it won't do as well as it'll do if it's $200. And you know, Android tablets are as cheap as 200 bucks. Average ones are probably 400 bucks. Uh, Apple, you know, the iPads start at 500. If the Surface is competitive with the iPad, I think it's actually a pretty slick product. I think it'll probably do very well. If it starts below that, it'll probably really do well. My guess is because it comes loaded with Windows and comes loaded with some type of an office uh, software suite, Microsoft's going to get greedy. They're going to charge you for Windows. They're going to charge you for Office. So I expect that they're going to try to price this thing more like six or seven hundred bucks, in which case I do not think it'll sell as well as the iPad. Um, I think over time we'll see how developers support the Surface. If you get lots and lots and lots of apps, then yes. I think it can it can be very competitive two years and three years out. But remember, it's starting out with almost no apps. So people are going to buy this thing more as a substitute for a, a netbook or a notebook. Um, I personally am looking forward to getting one. I kind of like that whole keyboard concept. I like that it comes loaded with Office. It's something I can throw in my briefcase and work on a plane. And I think you know the file will transfer over to my PC. So it's something I'm an, I personally am going to get. But again, you know, at a price, you know, it'll be competitive at the wrong price, it won't be. Okay, we have a Twitter question from at MF Tilt. MF, what do you think MF stands for, Rohan? Can't say it. I, my fine tilt, I don't know. Do you think Kickstarter as a big funding source for games will survive the first few inevitable failures? Wow. So there's, there's a lot wrong with that question. First of all, Kickstarter is not a big funding source for games. Uh, I don't know the dollars involved in Kickstarter in the aggregate for games. I know that the two most successful games did each around three, three million bucks. That was Brian Fargo's project and Tim Schafer's project. I would guess in the aggregate, all money raised on Kickstarter for games is maybe a hundred million bucks. So roughly the development budget for you know, Grand Theft Auto. So I would not say it's a big funding source for games. Um, and then it says the first few inevitable failures, I would imagine that there have been plenty of projects that have failed that were Kickstarter funded. Uh, but you say survive. I don't think Kickstarter goes away because people put their $50 in and got their t-shirt and the digital copy of the game they were promised never got finished. I think that people tough it out. It's $50, they give it a shot. They had fun going for it. And 
I think they'll come back. Um, I think the two that really matter are Fargo's project and Schaefer's project. Those have to succeed. I mean, those guys were each looking to raise not very much money, like a million bucks. They each raised three times that. Um, the cool thing is they're going to spend that money on those games, so you're going to get really good games out of those guys. The other cool thing is they're both really good game makers, so I'm pretty confident that you're going to like what you see. And I think they'll be back, and I think their next projects are going to succeed as well. So they, I don't think Kickstarter is ever going to be big, but I think it's great that an independent game developer can go someplace, not be beholden to a publisher to tell them that their idea is stupid, have the public endorse it with their money, they're voting with their 50 bucks. And I think it, it enables cool uh, niche products to be made. And I think that the niche audience that puts the money in is very happy to get that niche product. So I think Kickstarter serves a, serves a purpose and I think they'll continue to. All right, fellow babies, thanks for joining us on this week's Pack Attack. If you have a question, please submit them to the link below. And if you have a question for me on Twitter, I'm at Michael Pactor. You have to follow me on Twitter so I can reply. If you want a question answered on the show, please make sure you copy at Rohan Likes Pants because Rohan picks all the questions. Welcome to the sweet... <laughs> hey, fellow babies.